it's John from Hockey Cards Only. Anyways, I am showing you my score from the other day. Can you believe this? I can't believe this. I'm still waking up in the morning going, did I just make a bunch of money or did I just add to my collection and I'm hoarding these five? I just found these ones. I have a sixth one already from like four videos ago. Anyways, so I put it on Instagram. I'm gonna try to strike up some uh, Instagram views for the channel through this amazing score. It's too bad this didn't happen like 20 or 50 more videos from now when I have 50 or something subscribers, which is inevitable if I keep making videos every day. But it's like right now I have like five, so nobody knows, except for like me and my family and whatnot, that I just did this. So anyways, yeah, who cares I guess? It's kind of fun still. <laughs> High five of you, how's everybody doing today? Um, anyways, I'm gonna do a box opening. I got a jersey in, so I wanted to open it, and then I want to, um, I have more cards I gotta open up. They're just in the shipping boxes. So I'm gonna grab one of those, and we'll just see what's in it. And then I'll also do a quick uh, mail day. I'm gonna open just one of those. I'm gonna save them for later when we don't have as much to do. But um, they are my investments. So that's why I kind of want to open them. So I'm going to get to that. Anyways, give me just a second. I'll grab some stuff. All right. I am back. I've got this box. I believe this is my jersey I've got. The way I can tell, they're all kind of coming from the same place. But I've been shaking them. Kind of like Christmas. That sounds like a jersey. It doesn't sound like a bunch of cardboard. But I've been stung before. For instance, I was trying to open up that Canucks jacket in what, two episodes ago? That thing is awesome. In short, the Canucks jacket was not in that box. It was a bunch of 90, um, no 80, it was the Patrick Wall cards. Check it out. You already know what it is. You already know who I'm a fan of. So why wouldn't I have the updated Canucks jersey. So I'm not going to put this on so you can see my ugly mug. I'll get my camera set up shortly where I can kind of do that, but I don't have a lot of space to do this channel. As you can see, that's why I'm kind of just throwing this uh, logo table there. Uh, and I am stuck on my camera stand. All right, let's take a quick look at this thing. Oh, I did buy this thing used and I didn't pay that much for it. And it is a medium. Check that out. Now, I don't believe this is a real, real, real jersey. This is these jerseys. It says officially licensed and whatnot, but I don't think this is a game jersey. This is the kind that you wear. I mean, it's still stitched. These ones are barely, these are not stitched here on Vancouver. But yeah, very cool. I got my girlfriend one also, so we can both be Canucks fans together. <laughs> Anyways. Oh yeah, it's got somebody's name on it. It's got Burroughs on the back. So that's kind of kind of nifty. So anyways, I'll uh, probably wash this thing. I'm gonna give it a smell test. It doesn't smell like the Canucks jacket, I'll tell you that much, but it smells like a jersey. So that's kind of gross. Maybe someone actually wore, the, wore this on the ice a couple times, because it, it smells kind of like a weird locker room fabric softener-y smell. So, uh, I will wash that and hang it up and put it with my other ones. I haven't even shown you guys my personal jersey collection. It's not impressive, it's just, you know, I'll show it to you guys. Just for fun. This channel isn't that serious, so I probably have five jerseys from Pavel Bure jerseys to some Avalanche and some Bruins. Okay, I'm gonna grab some stuff for the mail day right here. And the big ones with tracking, you can kind of tell they're gonna be more expensive than the other. I'm trying to think if I have any. Where is the other one? Let's open this thing up. This has got a thick pack in here. I believe this is the vintage. Small. I bought a small little group of vintage stuff. And I don't believe. I should be a little bit more gentle with those scissors. For all I know, the cards are not in pack right there. 
Or when I mean a pack, I meant a protector of some type. I would assume that everything would get shipped in a penny sleeve, but that still might not be. There it is. Look at that. Look at that. That is what I was actually hoping for. Let's see who else is in here. I'll set that back right there. Here's the old guy, Lafleur. Keep it nice and steady for you. Pretty cool, huh? There's the old Camille. Let's see if this is his, uh, it's not his rookie card. This one almost seems fake. Look at this thing. You guys, I mean, maybe I'm not familiar with Opichi from. <laughs> this is this is weird. This is weird. But maybe Opichi is that. Real quick, before I grab the other cards, I want you guys to look at this cardboard. Is this 1986 Opichi cardboard? If you look real close, let's see if I can get the focus. It's like these dots are printed in it. Look right up here by this Y. See these dots? Those are printed on this card. So you tell me, it shows down there that it's, you know, but this, this just doesn't feel like the other ones. Uh, I've seen OPG. It just doesn't seem like this. So I think this, I don't know why you would forge a Cam Neely card. Like forge Patrick Law card. You know, whatever. So I'll set that aside. Let me grab this. These are my favorite score I've been finding is when I can find a big old box like this. Now I've taken it out of the shipping box just to save us a minute. Uh, I know you don't want to sit here and watch me open but that kind of box. And I left this saran wrap that they had on it. Just I've not opened this thing yet. I will try to put a picture of the, what the auction looked like right here real quick. Pan through a couple pictures. It says baseball cards and a squiggly mark. Let's put a squiggly mark on it. Oh, we're taped shut. Dang it. That means I'm going to not be able to get this quite yet and it's gonna pull the cardboard off of the box I kind of want to keep in good condition this is, bummer. this is better than all the cards coming out right if they all came out that'd be bad so and this box is probably only about what they're like five dollars seven dollars eight dollars at the card store just don't want to have to ship them that's for sure not cheap to ship empty that's kind of the benefit of these old finds here oh man okay it looks like a lot of baseball and some shiny stuff so this let's see what this is it is football football foosball they've been playing the old foosball behind my back okay here's some hockey so here's what I'm gonna try I'm gonna try to grab only the hockey and leave the foosball behind. Okay, so we hit the, oh man. My favorite Pacific 2000s. Okay, we're not gonna look through them. We're gonna take them out. So I know there's a logo there. I'll put this here. This looks like all the devil sport foosball. And it looks like we might have some hockey here. Oh, no. Oh, here we go. Okay, looks like there's some die cuts. Some Auroras, hmm, Aurora 2000. I know that's like that Pacific brand. I'll set them there. If I grab this chunk of white, I hope everybody can see that just fine. Here's some die cast or die cuts. And we have a Dean McAmond. We have a Craig Conroy. And we have an Adam Denmarsh. We know Adam Denmarsh. I don't know the other two. It looks like we have Pacific 03 right here. Okay. So that's good to know. And we'll look up 
the rookie in that year. I believe that could be a Datsuk rookie year. Um, or a uh, Zetterberg, which those would be amazing. Now we have some victory. Now we're getting to some decent, I shouldn't say decent. Different stuff. I thought MVP upper deck was victory there for a second, which I would love to see some upper deck. But hey, modern cards, better than, you know, I don't know, Donruss or Ballman's best. So I'm just kind of hand picking through here real quick. It looks like these are all victory. I'm just gonna leave them together. Okay, so we'll do that. It looks like these are all foosball. Foosball, foosball, foosball. More foosball. More foosball. What's in here? This looks random. Okay, we got some hockey. This is all saying. At least it's not this. Bowman. Ah! Jeez Louise. Oh, okay, these just decided to fall everywhere. Some 91 Bowman. Put these over here. That's kind of the epitome of the Junk Wax era. Is these Bowman. I would say maybe Pro Set. Pro Set is another one. There's just too much of. No, these total cards. Tops total. I had in that last set we just did. I've never seen them before. What's this? Soccer cards? Look at that upper deck. 91. 90, no, 94. So this is what's fun. Sometimes you get some really oddball things. It's awesome to find garbage pail kids. That, that They're worth a lot. So that's just random if you can find those. Here's some more tops. We had these last pull too. So that's probably good. Here is some of these little ear cranes. The year 2000, right here on the bottom. Okay. Set those there. What's the difference in gold and silver? 99 and 2000 is what it looks like. What is maroon? 2002. Didn't I just have maroon ones right there? It's like a throwback type card. David Hale. What year is this thing? 2004. Set that up there. Hey, here we go. Top Stadium Club. I'll put those over here for Junk Wax Era. We've all seen this card. You know. I think that goes there. And it looks like we have some more of these total. That's kind of good. I'll have a bunch of these then to make a complete set, hopefully. From the last pull and this one, it's good to get a bigger. It's good to get a bigger list of the weird stuff, I would say. And to me, that's weird. I've never seen them. So, okay. So here's more football, and it looks like maybe b baseball coming up. But who really cares? Here's some '93 score. Oh, I'm sorry, '92 score. So we'll set these. Uh, it doesn't look like we have any stars quite yet so no stars there some pro sets there's at least a Ray Bork here's Chara not his rookie year but that's a star so we have somebody in here alright some victories what year are these? Are 03. Let's see if that's the same as these. Probably not, but these are 01. So 03, 01. So we'll put, I think I had victory 03. We'll go through here. Let's see if we can find any. Scott Walker, Jeff Norton. Ryan Holtzinger, Chris Clark, and then it looks like some type of insert card of Craig Burby. I'll set that there so you can stare at it for a minute. And then we have Scott Walker in a 2005 victory. Holtzinger's a 2099. Oh, okay, so these ones go there. And this one goes 
Pacific 2001s. Don't have any Pacific 2001s quite yet. Chris Clark. Checking that one out here. What year is this? 07. So there is a bunch of randomness in here. Well, that's good. That's what we're looking for. These football cards are Tops Stadium Club. Okay, my phone died here, so I just plugged her back in. But this is where we were at. We had one, two, three rows of football. I kind of cheated and went to that back end. There was nothing there, but more football. So I'm gonna tip this back up to where we're at. And I'm gonna start digging through this, which I believe this whole row, hopefully is hockey. So this stuff looks pretty new. And this stuff, you know, I thought there was newer stuff in here, so I'm gonna Let's start here. These are some weird, weird cards here. It's like some newer ball men. Steve Thomas. These are some Omegas and some... Yeah, making sure it's not a throwback pinnacle. Some weird stuff there. None of these really are the same. Omega. Okay. Let's put these there in this random weird moment okay these are some thick cards or they're spacers of some type see this i didn't know not know what it is um what is this name and address i don't know let's not spend any more time on them sorry everybody i was confused for too long i'm trying to figure out what these are okay they're probably like in the in some of the new packs. I haven't opened a pack of new cards in my whole life, so that's probably what's going on. It's probably like they're they're in some of that stuff. Here are some NBA checklist. So that there with that weird discard pile. It looks like we have some score 92. No big names there. Here's a Brett Hall. Bernie Nichols, and there's a Patrick Watt. It looks like this thing's not in great shape, though. It's uh, got a fold right there, so anywho. Take what we can get right now. I've not seen much. Okay, these I have a whole bunch of this year tops. Okay, these are, let's look what year. I think it's like 03 maybe, it's 01. Oh, one. Okay. So we got Jason Smith, Bogner, Darren Quint, Dixon Ward, Chris Melkapine, Mick Alpine, and Derek Morris, Darian Hatcher, and Martin Rosinski. Random short stack of those. Looks like a lot of random short stacks here. Okay. Like here we have some old Pinehurst and there's going to be three. Stadium Club Hockey. That goes here with the Wax Era. Pinehurst are not my favorite. Here's some more of these. Okay, Darcy Tucker in a 2004. What is this? Titanium? something and then here's another Darcy Tucker in a signature series 2002 in the game okay I don't know what brand those are we'll find out it looks like someone bought just random packs so here's a Todd Simpson Kelly Johansson Lance Pitlick and then we have Keith to Chuck and these other what year are these these are 2000, okay? Set those aside. A lot of 2000 stuff. Keith the Chuck, Dan, Jason Allison, Sergey Zoltuk, two Sergey Zoltuk, Oleg Travowski, Rob Zumner, Sergey Travowski, is that two of them? No, there's just a lot of Travowskis. Igor Korolov, three of those. Here's a Kozlov, put him at the top. 
Dimitri Kishner, Kron, Robert Kron, Brian Holtzinger, Martin Galenas, and Darian Hatcher. Let's check out this Kozlov. Total stats, totally not his rookie. Um, still probably the best card there. Set that aside. Make that go into the collections. Okay, there's more here of those blue cards, so there is hope. What are these? George McPhee, McPhee, Kelly Chase, Kevin Kam Kaminsky? Kaminsky. Okay, so we have Fleer Throwbacks, and I have three of them from 2002, is what it looks like. Put those in the random discard pile. Here's one of these extra checklist. Okay, now what do we have? 2006, 2007, Fleer Ultra. So here's Draper. He's a Red Wing. I'm going to flip all of these and just do that. That's a Fleer Ultra. These are all Fleer Ultras. So we have Dumbmount, Harkoff, Oshir, Stern, Lengard, Stern, Rolson, Pettinger, Bell, Sil Sillinger, Pothier, Draper. So these are, that's a pinnacle. I think this is an insert card. Anyways, so these in the discard pile. All right, I am back. Here's a Yerky Loom. That's what I thought, 2006. I'm sorry, 1996. I believe these, I thought these were inserts, but it looks like they're all gold or something like that. There's a Donruss. Man, a lot of random cards. These are random. Here's these pinnacle Callie Johansson. See, that's what I thought. Look, these are different. See that? Robert Cron, Martin Galeas, Stu Barnes. Two random insert cards there. Put these almost as junk wax era. Okay, what do we got? It looks like these are all the same. Finally, we have a bunch that are kind of the same. Oh! I think it's gonna get better. These cards up here look a little newer. Okay. Let me get these set up here. These are, let's see, 1999. So that might be like, mm, I don't know whose rookie year we would find in here. Here's a Bertuzzi for the Canucks. A couple of Bertuzzi's. That's probably one of the better cards in here. These are about Darren Torchet. Bill Gurren. Ah! Oh, a couple of Bill Gurren. Sergey Berzin. Berzini. Berzine. Chris Gratton. Michael Pekka. I'm just going to have to go to the top here. Robert Rachel, Valerie Kaminsky, two of them. Ryan Smythe, two of them, three of them, four of them. Andrew Cassells, two of three of them. Wendell Clark, in his old years. Kevin Hatcher, Steve Rusheen, Yusuf Strubble, Stumple. Bill Housley in his older years, Thomas Sandstrom, Doug Gilmore in his older years, playing for the Chicago Blackhawks. Here's an Adam Dunmarsh, Damp House, we know him, Dave Gagner, Gagner, ah, uh, crop, <laughs> oh crop, we have him, okay, Courtnall, prep. Per Alt. I'm not even gonna try. McGinnis, we know him. Mike Greer, 
Elferson, this could be his rookie year. Nope, we're off a few years. That's right, he's like a 95. Adam Graves, a few of him. Matthew Barnaby, Kevin Dean, Joe Jun, Juan, I don't know. Trevor Linden and not a Canucks uniform. Vladimir Topolowski, Ed Johavanowski, Tony Granato, Yuri Slager, Victor Kozlov. Victor Kozlov, isn't he a Red Wing? I think he is. Kelly Johansson, Michael Krowski, Bob Probert. Bob Proverbs. You gotta go on YouTube and watch that man fight right now. Watch that after my video, I mean. But uh, if you can, go there and watch. Um, there we go. There's my confusion right there, everybody. I'm like, wait a minute. Victor Kozlov. Vachoskolov Kozlov. So we got two Kozlovs. They must be brothers. It does not say, but this is definitely the one I'm familiar with. Now, these are some more Fleer throwbacks. These are 02. So who knows what we'll find in these. This is kind of almost too long to go through. Some of these look like they're like an older player. You know, these guys have older helmets. So these could be... These are probably, this is probably like older players. And this is tripping me out. I don't know what I'm looking at. These guys have newer helmets. But then there's like this. Okay, he doesn't even have a helmet. And he's wearing like old ice skates. So these are like a mix. Is what it looks like of a bunch of stuff. Huh. They might have new and old in here. I'm not seeing a single big name. This whole group, we haven't really seen any big names. You know. Um, Gretzky's not around. Lemieux's not around. In all these newer era. So it's the Zetterbergs and the Dadsuks is what you're looking for. Maybe Armour Yager. You know, he's going to be around. Crosby, I believe, doesn't start till what, 05, 06, something like that. I was looking at that the other night, and I was kind of trying to learn just at least the rookies. Okay, what do we have here? Redeem your code today, but nope, we're not gonna. Okay, we have some score from a newer era. Mark Giardinod, man, some of these names. This is 2012 and 13. So that's not too bad. That's a little bit newer. And then that's it. That's all the newer ones. Let's see if any of these are rookie cards. Nope. So we'll put those again in our pile of random discard. Here's 92. Jason Bowen. Yusuf Cleary. Siri. Okay. Man. Random three cards of that. Here's some more Fleer Legacies. Oh, here we go. I don't even know what to think with these. Tony Twist and Mike Gartner. At least there's a Mike Gartner. I don't even know what... These are still those Fleer. I'm gonna have to just keep setting up in new piles. Here we go, the only, the only one of these premiere. Now, earlier in the video, I was showing my the, the Gretzky. He came in this. This is like the highest insert card. Imagine you're sitting there and you see this thing. I'm 99% sure. It says 93 tops. 94 tops. Wait a minute. So maybe this is the best card you could have got the next year after. And I'm wrong. That means I have a box of this stuff over there in my storage. Hmm. Huh. I thought I was... Wait a minute, 92, 93. Is there a year in between this and the other ones? That's what I gotta figure out. I will find out and let you know. 
Hey, Upper Deck! Finally some high quality stuff. Let's find out what year. Okay, 2000. So here's Lawrence. Lachance. Sir... Surowski. Brown. Hoglin. Sturrick. Buchenberger. Campbell. Another Travowski. Raheem. Ooh, here we go. Some older stuff. Let's look and see if any of these are rookies, though. No, 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 and no. Anyway, we'll put these with the newer upper deck stuff. Okay, now we have some cards I'm familiar with from when I was a kid. I was buying these. What year is this? Maybe 90, 98. This is like the last year I bought hockey cards as a kid. And they were awesome and they were expensive. Man, they felt like they were, this is my whole allowance here. Dario, I don't know some of these guys. A Perry. Chad Kilger. Paul Lar Lass. Two of him. Another Kilger. Jason Woolley. Adam Miller. Patrick Pullen. The names would jump out and bite us if they were big names in this, you know. Unfortunately, so I'm pretty sure none of these are that big a deal. Only because I believe this has all been searched. Because we would see Ray Bork. We would see... Some Sergey Fedorov, we would see, man, we would see Patrick Waugh, we would see a lot of stuff. But these are all commons. That's what I think this is all. All commons, but, but at least they're sorted for us, so that's nice. Put these with the upper deck commons. All right, now it looks like we're getting into some little bit newer upper deck stuff here. We're quite, we're not quite done here. Okay, I had to get a drink of water. Ah! Okay. These are some newer upper deck that I'm not quite familiar with. All right, so let's pull it all the way to these, which I'm a little more familiar with. Let's set them there. So quick short deck of what year are these? 2005 and 6. So we got Marcus Nelson, uh, Bekla Varda, Nick Antropov, Sheldon Sori, another Varda. I'm just going to kind of pass through these. Manny Maltra, Antropov, Sheldon Scori, Pavel Kubinev, Kubina, Ken Klee, Madison Nordstrom. Jason Smith, he's the captain of the Oilers, so he's probably somebody. Andy McDonald, Rico Fata, Feta, Mark Dennis, Sean Donovan, Trent Klatt, Nicholas Wallen, Manny Maltra again, Kyle McLaren, Tyson Nash, Steve Begin, Peter Schaefer, Eric Brewer, Chris Simon, Rob Blake, only name so far I'm kind of familiar with in all them, Sammy Solo, Viskonski, Affengino, Affengino, Ken Klee, Michael Hannes, and can barely read that, PJ Axelson. Kim, jo Kim Johnson, Jeff Helpner, Robin Regeary, Ray Ragey Regeary, Ra I don't know, Jean-Pierre Dumont, and Darcy Tucker. Wow, that was fun.
Not a name I've heard of. Let's just scan for rookies real quick. I believe the rookie would be labeled. I think, I'm not sure if all of them are young guns in this era. I'm not sure. Doesn't look too much like a rookie in there. So, short stack of commons. Another short stack. Okay, now we have these. These are awesome upper deck cards. If they are all commons, I might time lapse this. But we're just gonna hurry up and go and look through here and see here. Todd Harvey, Brad May, Corey Stillman, Steve Hines, Keith Carney, Brian Noonan, Mattis Nordstrom, Something Tattoo, German Tattoo, Matthew Brandy, Greg Johnson, Brian Merchant, Ted Donato, Doug Brown, Sean DeHamu, Don Norn, I don't know how I slaughtered that one or something, Terry Yake, JJ Bregg, Brigginalt. Ted Dorano, Doug Brown, Joel Otto, he's an old schooler, Mike Ricci, he's an old schooler, Chris Theron, Alexi Zittin, Brian Noonan, Stu Barnes, Chris Theron, Andrew Castles, Kenny Johnson, Patrice. Barasavo, Richard, Huckabuck, Matuk, Matt Takadachavak, Ryan Smythe, and Chris Taren, and Darren Turcott. Turcotti. Let's look on the back for any rookies. Not having any luck with the rookies. And the stars, man. At least they left us a frickin' Joel Otto and a Mike Ricci, right? I mean, save a save some value for the all <laughs> for all of us, right? There's not anything in here. Well, that's like kind of how it goes sometimes. We're just getting these pretty cheap, you know. It's not like I paid a million dollars for this. I hope I didn't pay thirty. That'd be kind of disappointing, but that's how it goes sometimes. Okay, we have Paul Muir. These are a newer... Oh, these are 02. So this is our potential Zetterberg era. Pavel Hubenov. Steven Webb. Steve blah 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 blah. Let me get these in the camera better. Grant Marshall. Corey Stillman. Gary Roberts. Mike Slinger. Paul Mara and Gino Ajik. There's more right here. I think these, uh, let me see how far these go into upper deck. Okay, they go to right here. Let's set those back. Jonathan Girard. Scott Han Nan, Eric Rusmussen, Dmitry Yavanich, Tyler Wright, Mura Malik, Dave. I'm not going to go through all these names. None of these are big names. We're looking for Zetterberg, and we've got weird. Here's a Holstrom. He's at least a Red Wing. Andrew Cassells, Marty Reasoner. Daniel Cleary, Smythe, Wright, Adam Foot, David Harvey, Craig Conroy, Brian McKay, Grant Marshall. Well, you feel the pain with me. 
that's okay with those Ro Patrick Wall rookie cards on that last episode or two uh, I can't complain about anything so uh, let's keep passing through I've got just a few left what do we have here 99 Pacific they say Pacific 2000 on them oh man again it's gonna be picked through there's a cron Ward Maris. Here's a, one of those Kozlovs again that confused me before. Brian Holtzinger. But yeah, there's no big names in here. These ones I think are random. Insert. Okay, so now we're in the Pacific 2002s. Oh, I'll hurry up because I don't think there's anything exciting for you guys. It's not like I'm going to find one of the rookie cards we really want. And there's Erickson. Here's a Chara. I'm going to kind of make him. I don't have a lot of his cards, believe it or not. And he's kind of random. Somebody I'm going to be like, whoa, he's got a couple Stanley Cups. So might as well stack a short collection. Looks like all these are Pacific right here. So we'll just pass through Chris Simon. Shard, Byron, Kenzie, here for something else. Sorry if I'm getting lazy. My voice is a little weak right now. And there's nothing in here that's that exciting. So, not a famous goalie. Not a famous player, really. So these will just go in the set The set builders I have of all these other cards here of the same type. And then I might have to kind of snipe the stuff I don't have. But at least we'll have at least one everything now. Hines, Wilson. I'm looking at these names. I've not seen anything exciting. I think there's one more card here. And then it looks like we've got more Pacific Paramount 2000s. So the, these are what I believe are the junk wax. I'd rather have Upper Deck from 1991 than this. You know, but at least it's a variety. Here he is. The best card we've gotten tonight. <laughs> Mark Rishi. Barnaby. Peter Nedved. Tito. What in the world? Kelly Brickenberger? He looks like he's a 15-year-old cat cancer patient in this picture. I don't know why. Uh, Barnaby Murray. Oh, Harvey. Langdo Johnson. I think that's it, folks. So, in short, I didn't have too much fun. I mean, I did. I'm kidding. I didn't. We didn't have any hits. No hits. Couple insert cards from randos, and maybe these soccer cards. But football, I can't expect any hits in here. I'm not even gonna look through them. I'm gonna put them on Facebook Marketplace. Okay, everybody. Sorry for the most annoying search in history. I don't even think we found a single star. Not even a Ray Bork, not a Steve Eiserman, nada. So, anyways, next hunt should be better, and that's why we have mail days. So, let's go back to our quick recap on our mail day. Is uh, we had there he is, the Bobby Hall. This is I've met Bobby Hall once. Okay, he signed a puck for me at a Detroit Red Wings game, and I'm gonna go get it, because it's in the other room. Give me just a second. Okay, I'm back, and I wanna show you this thing. My girlfriend got it for me. She's such a sweetheart. Say hi to my girlfriend, everybody. Hi, girlfriend. Um, I'm not gonna say her name, she'd be embarrassed. Anyway, she got this for me, because she knows I collect hockey stuff. Now, I told you, I had a Bobby Hall puck. Here it is. He signed it and gave it to me and went, 
he did the old man like that when he was done. And I, I was didn't even realize I gave him a Red Wings puck. He didn't play for the Red Wings, but Brett Hall was there playing for the Red Wings. Um, unfortunately, he is, he's a Blackhawk. And the Blackhawks and the Red Wings are kind of rivals. Um, the more I looked into it, though, it seemed to me that Bobby Hall wouldn't really like the Canadians and he wouldn't like Bobby Orr because they kind of took his Stanley Cup opportunities. And Bobby Hall never got a Stanley Cup. And I watched a documentary on him because, you know, why, why watch a nature documentary when you can watch a Bobby Hall or a Bobby Orr documentary? And um, I got a lot of respect for Bobby Hall. Uh, he didn't win a Stanley Cup, and he said it haunts him every night. It's a nightmare that never ends. It's like losing a Stanley Cup is what he was talking about. Not not winning it, but he's like it was a. It haunts me for the rest of my life. I was like, ooh, that's ta that's kind of tough actually. Think about losing a Stanley Cup in Game Seven and being Bobby Hall and never winning a cup. I need this little mini screwdriver I have to get that out. I think I can just gently do it. No, there's no gentle about it. That little tiny Chinese tape got me all crooked here. Okay. Or tape off of there. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Let's turn it this way. Let's clean it. Ooh, look at that. I got receipt goop on my puck. Let's get out the brake cleaner and spray it off. <laughs> Ruins the autograph. Man, do you think I can get that off? Man, I might have to get the goo gone. I'm not even... I'm not gonna worry about it right now. It's on the back side. So anyways, we were getting so far... And I got distracted with that goop when I saw it. Anybody would be, but we'll deal with that later. Cause this is just going to be a back piece to a YouTube vet, a uh, YouTube channel with 20 people. Actually, that's four times as many as actually watch this. So we have all five subscribers. I do appreciate all five of you. Just going to put the top loader in here because I would like to keep this protected. I don't think that's going to happen. So taking it out. I'm not happy about it. I think there's two in here. So how's the weather everybody? It's like freezing outside. It's like 10 degrees. We're in Michigan. Not real warm right now. Let's make sure this one's real. That's the real cardboard we're looking for, everybody. Not in bad shape. It's a little frayed on the bottom there. I'm not complaining. I don't think I paid a lot for this. I think I paid 20 bucks or something like that for all of these. And I don't think I had this card in the set I did in our first episode. So this is the card I was kind of hunting after. Totally awesome. Look at that badass logo here. That's not how they make them now. Okay. This might be a bad idea if this falls out. Or it doesn't want to go in well. Nice. You tell me that isn't awesome. Okay, how do I get that farther in there? I'm not even gonna mess with it. There it is, everybody. My little Bobby Hall plaque with the wrong puck. <laughs> Does anybody have Bobby Hall in a Red Wings attire they could send me for this? Uh, that would be cool. I don't think I'm going to find anything otherwise. So, okay, everybody. Well, that will wrap up today's episode. I've got to clean up all these random cards and put them where they belong so I can entertain you guys all five of you tomorrow and um, I think I've got okay of course I've got more boxes hopefully they're not this boring I apologize but um 
it'll get better, okay? We already we already found five Patrick Waugh rookie cards. Insane. So, still, I mean, like, this is boring, but if you want to see some cool stuff, go ahead and watch that video. So, anyways. Okay, I wanted to make one last quick video here that uh, came in from Canada. It's one of my first in from Canada. So that'll be fun. I think I know what's in here, which is some old peachy stuff. So I'm gonna just cut this right off. I'm not too worried about it. Make sure no one can see. I don't know what's in here still. I, I'm assuming it's that. If you shake it, you can't really tell. So let's do this here. Man, what's the easiest way in here? They taped it real good. Time for the razor blade. I'm going to try to not let you guys have to worry about me opening boxes all too much. Because this is like annoying like 20, 30 seconds you guys got to watch. This feels like it's fabric, but I'm not sure. I'm hoping it's fabric. I don't really know what's coming from can. Okay, it's cards. I can feel them. I think these are some old peaches. Set them out right here. This is just a teaser for the next video that's going to come out because there's no way I can open these and look at them in the next hour. Or I shouldn't say me in the next hour. I should say um, I can't fit it really in the video. So here we go. I'm going to show you what they are. Remember last time I was doing this, it was Patrick Waugh times five. Something little like this. This isn't that special, I think. I think they're older, and I think they're all peachy instead of tops. Get all this crap off my scissors. Sorry, everybody. I'll eat that up. Okay, let's give this a nice cut. And we'll do a quick unveiling of what year they are. I'll just grab one. Ooh, it's not in great shape. Here's Dave Babich. And it looks like these are 1982. Right there. 1982-83. And got a good stack of them. I think they're I think they're commons. Ooh, sorry, Dave Babbage. But as you can see, one's got some sleeves couple have sleeves. Um, let's grab them just to see what we're dealing with. What did they think was sleeve worthy? These are not in the greatest shape. Steven, okay. But they are Opeachy. What did we pull here? Steve Weeks, Kevin Morrow, and Clark Gillies. This could be considered his rookie. Not sure, we'll set those there. All right, let's do this here. Nice and gentle. I really love these older cards. Oh, here's a Lanny McDonald with the old big red mustache. He's funny. I'm just going to pull some of these out. It looks like they're all organized by team. Wayne Babich? Not Wayne Gretzky. There could be, you know what? There could be. I think this one, even if you see uh, the front listing of this thing, there's a Gretzky in here. Okay. We'll pull him out here as we go. I'm sure he's in. It's a lot of cards. I think there's only a few hundred in the set. Maybe there's 300 and something. I'll put it. I'll put a link to our uh, up and coming website in the description. For those who don't know, I'm a web developer, so I build websites. 
And you guys in the card industry need some help from somebody like me to build an awesome website. And I think that's going to be my plan. I will make a whole video about that shortly. But in, in short, I'm going to build myself a website for hockey cards. It's called HockeyCardsOnly.com. Hey, look, Ron Francis. Here's all the good cards, everybody. That is Ron Francis's rookie card. So, without further ado, I'll keep, I'll put some of these in sleeves while I'm jibber jabbering. This one's not in great shape, obviously. Look at that corner. Corners out of that one. So, anyways, I'm making hockeycardsonly.com. We're gonna sell these cards. I'm a database manager by trade. So I can database all these cards, at least the, the ones that we're familiar with. And I think I'm gonna do a project that may, there's our Gretzky. There's a few Gretzkys here. Show you guys that one. But I might be selling card websites to you car and card enthusiast out there. But, but uh, that's kind of like a soft reveal I'll show you what I already have in the next like week, okay? I already have it started for hockey. And here's old goalie Dennis Huron. Huron? It's pretty rad. Look at that old helmet. Pretty cool, huh? Anywho, if you guys want a site that deals in hockey cards, I will probably be able to hook that up. If you want to do all the sports, I need a few months, okay? Because that's kind of one of the things that's getting done in the background out here, is I'm working on hockey cards only. These, these cards aren't in the greatest shape, but they're still cool. So hockey cards only's goal is to be like a card broker, okay? And broker out cards and not have eBay fees. So if you're tired of paying eBay fees and you sell a lot of cards, almost to the point you have your own following, then having your own website is for you. You might be able to just take it with a, what do you call it? I'm doing two things at once, a uh, cash app payment. So there's hardly any transaction fees, if any, okay. Here's all the Canucks. Look at these awesome old jerseys. Yeah, sorry, right there. Okay, well that's the, uh, I shouldn't really be looking through these. You kind of saw the goodies. Well, I felt bad leaving you guys with our last search and there was just nothing in there. At least here we have some old peachy. There's Dan Burchard. Real cliche. Well, this way you got to see some old stuff. This one's in a lot better condition than that other one. It's pretty cool. Nothing too crazy in here. We got the Gretzky. I don't believe anybody else was playing yet. <laughs> Paul Coffey, maybe. He's in here. And Ron Francis. Some of these older names. But you don't have Patrick Waugh and you don't have... Mario Lemieux yet in 81. Anyways, like, share, and subscribe. I'll be doing more cards. These oldies are coming in the mail every day. They're awesome. I just ordered more. So if you want to see me, I'll uh, put these in sets in a minute. Uh, that, that'll be their own video. I'll do set review, which will be every single card and show you the top 10. That's why we've got these. So that and we can just kind of sell them too. Anyways, thank you much everybody, like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you soon.